um, uh, guys, uh, Otilo, Otilo, Thames is far gone. She's really far gone. Just see the way Thames is being recognized. And DJ Khaled is just gonna beg Thames for a hug. Man, can I get a hug, man? That was so amazing. DJ Khaled even beg Thames, can I just get a hug, man? This Thames is far gone. Otilo, Thames, Otilo. Man, Thames actually shocked everybody yesterday as she became the first female african artist to actually win a grammy she really had an amazing moment with rick rose dj khalid let's take a look at the moment she really had look at this actually with rick rose. Really had an amazing moment with rick rose. where is rick rose actually asking her it's low man turn this show up i guess she could not believe it Everybody is just sitting here. Got it, thank you. Big thing. Over the shoulder. Thank you. 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 Big congrats to you, big teams. Big congrats to you, big teams. Big congrats to you, big teams. Guys, I will let you guys share your thoughts on what you guys think. But there is something someone actually said that really got my attention. When someone actually said something that DJ Khaled is not helping Afrobeat artists, that is just collaborating for self interest. This is actually because DJ Khaled has an upcoming song with Davido, and someone said Davido and DJ Khaled collab that DJ Khaled is just collaborating for his own self interest. Look at what the person said DJ Khaled is not helping Afrobeat or African artists, he's just collaborating for self interest. Akon, Chris Brown, Rich Forever, which is Rick Rose, are the ones that have contributed to African music. Man, I don't really know how true is this. I will let you guys share your thoughts on what you guys think. I remain your favorite, be Vicky. Do where to subscribe and don't forget to wish Thames big congratulations via the coming boss for actually winning her first Grammy Award and becoming the first female African artist to actually win a Grammy Award. Big Vicky, I'm out.